Hi, my name's Esther. I'm a paramedic here at Real Response. This next video will step us through the contraindications of methoxyflurane using the Czech mnemonic, as it's always important we rule out any contraindications before administering any medication to a patient, as well as looking at how to actively coach a paediatric patient in the methoxyflurane inhaler use. Methoxyflurane is a potent analgesic agent, but it is contraindicated in some patient groups. We have a checklist to help you remember. C. Cardiovascular. You should not use it in patients with cardiovascular instability or respiratory depression. Hypotension and respiratory depression are known drug class effects of methoxyflurane. If a patient is already at risk of these, then adding methoxyflurane can make things worse. H. Hypersensitivity. Avoid using methoxyflurane in patients with a known hypersensitivity to inhaled anaesthetic agents. We're not so good at asking about this when we ask about drug reactions, so I like to ask, have any medications or anaesthetics ever made you unwell? E, established. Does the patient have an established diagnosis of malignant hypothermia? or is the patient genetically susceptible to this condition? Although this is relatively rare, giving an inhaled agent like methoxyflurane to someone with malignant hypothermia can have serious consequences. C, consciousness. Does the patient have an altered level of consciousness? Although we are using methoxyflurane in analgesic doses, we know that just like other agents such as opiates, it can potentially impair the patient's level of consciousness. Because the patient self-titrates the dosing, it is important that they are not impaired by alcohol, illicit substances, or a head injury. And finally, K, kidney failure. Methoxyflurane should not be given to patients with kidney failure or renal impairment. High dose methoxyflurane can potentially cause renal toxicity, so we need to be careful in patients that may be taking kidney killers or otherwise known as nephrotoxic agents. So there you have it, our checklists for methoxyflurane contraindications. Let's now take a look at how to coach a paediatric patient using the methoxyflurane inhaler. All right, can we slide this over your hand? Awesome, if we put this in the mouth. Always important to engage the parent, as well as explain to them how their child may behave once we use methoxyflurane as an analgesic for pain relief. They may become drowsy, dizzy, they may laugh, or they may say things that they normally wouldn't. For younger age groups or children that have apprehension in using the inhaler device, we can engage the parent and help them to demonstrate how to use it. I always recommend starting with small breaths in and out for the child so that they can get used to the taste and the smell and know that it's going to provide pain relief. The benefit of methoxyflurane is that there is no needles. Once the child is comfortable using the device, if we need to increase the dosage, we can ask the child to place their finger over the hole at the top of the inhaler, or we can ask the parent to assist with this. If you're using methoxyflurane in an enclosed space, you can apply a charcoal filter to the top of the device to help reduce with the smell and occupational exposure. Remember, it's really important to always engage with your patient and continue to engage them to breathe in and out on the device as they will only receive analgesia if they're actively breathing in and out on the inhaler.